And today is day 15 of our 21 days of prayer, and the theme today is helping others. But before we get into the verses for today, I want to just um, have you think back to maybe a time when you were in middle school. Okay, for some of us, that's a long time ago. Others of us, maybe not so long ago. But think about a time in middle school where um, something was wrong, and you either knew it or you chose to ignore it. And what I mean by that is um, something was wrong with your parents. Okay, so let's say uh, maybe... Uh, your hair was sticking up funny. Uh, maybe you had a piece of lettuce on your collar from lunch. Um, a booger sticking out of your nose. I don't know. Just something Something was wrong. And rather than people telling you what was wrong, they just kind of, kind of giggled and laughed behind your back. Kind of just pointed at you and gave you funny looks. Um, you know that feeling, right? But then maybe there was a situation where something similar happened. And rather than people just kind of laughing at you behind your back or, or gossiping or whatever it was, somebody just kind of pulled you aside, pulled you aside gently and privately and said, hey, um, you might want to fix this. It, it looks funny. Okay, so what's the purpose of that story? I think in, in a way it gives us an idea of what is happening in Galatians 6, 1 through 3, in a spiritual way. These are the verses that we're be, uh, reading today in our, in our prayer journal, and I just want to read them for you really quick from the New Living Translation, because I think it gives us a really good picture of what's happening here. So here's how, how it reads. This is Galatians 6, 1 through 3. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin... You who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens, and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Now, these verses are talking specifically about coming alongside a fellow believer when they are caught in a sin. But to go back to our story, I think sometimes as Christians, we can look at each other's um, spiritual lives, maybe even the temptations that we easily fall into, and rather than gently and humbly coming alongside each other, we just kind of talk behind each other's backs, maybe even gossip a little bit, maybe even laugh. I know that sounds harsh, but I think that's the reality of how we operate sometimes. And these verses today are really challenging us to think about what it's like to come alongside each other in a humble and gentle way when we are caught in sin and when we are caught in temptation. Um, so I just encourage you to continue to read um, the journal, um, read how uh, the reflection kind of talks about the verses that I just shared. There's a challenge for us here. There's a prayer. Um, and it's really about how we are willing to come, along each, uh, come alongside each other and deal with sin in our lives. And do it in a way that's humble and gentle and um, not full of pride or, or uh, not uh, covered in gossip or secrecy that it in some way uh, makes us look better than we really are. Um, so I just want to encourage you to, to look at that today. It's a difficult passage, let's be honest. We don't really do this well, but I hope you look at it today, and I hope you find um, the opportunity to really pray through the journal today and think about how you might be someone God might want to use to help somebody um, right now as, as perhaps they're struggling with a sin in their life. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon.